Hi, this is Tom McElroy. Right now I'm going to give you a basic introduction to bow drill. Um, as far as I'm concerned, bow drill is the number one friction fire method to learn. It seems to be the most universal, meaning you can use it in the deserts, in the rainforests, you know, in the jungles, anywhere you end up. Um, bow drill is going to be the go-to method for making a fire. The way bow drill works is you have a six to eight inch dowel which is spun really quickly against a baseboard. These are both general softwoods, meaning you can take your thumb and your fingernail and you can mark them really easily. Um, really dense hardwoods don't work really well for bow drill. So I've got um, a nice piece of softwood, super dry, and I'm gonna spin this stick against this one. To speed up the spinning process, what I'm gonna do is tie a string onto a stick. Wrap that string around my spindle, lock it in place, and now what happens when I push this stick with the string attached is it spins this dowel really fast. To hold it all together, I've got my top piece and I'm ready to go. So this all fits together. I get up on my knee, my back knee, my front leg wraps around and gets real close to the spindle so that I can brace my arm. From here, I just push back and forth with the string. It might make a squeaking sound that's just a sign of friction, but I go from one side of the string to the other. It's more important to have a rhythmic motion than a jerky short stroke. So one end of the bow all the way to the other. Once I start to get a lot of smoke, I can speed up just a little bit and kick in some heat. Once I have a ton of smoke, I can stop and check to see if I have a fire yet. Okay, the way you know you have a fire is everything starts turning black. This wood dust that's gathering at the bottom is black. You know, my spindle looks real black. So I know that I had enough heat to turn that wood dust as dark as it can get and as hot as it can get. Second thing I know is the pile of dust that fell into that notch is still lit. Look at this here. This is my coal. This is that wood dust that gathered up from the burning process. The most of it fell into the notch. Some of it just kind of gathered along the top. <sighs> most of it fell into that notch and made this dust. From here, I'm just going to take some dried pine needles and buff them together, make sure they're super dry. Um, some grasses, some tree bark, and I'm going to make tinder. This is just super dry, light material that's gonna spread the fire and spread this little coal into a flame. I wrap it up and bird's nest it without crushing it and just gently blow through it. Once it starts to blow a lot and you can, or smoke a lot, you can really blow a little harder. There we go, got a fire. <laughs> 